I have gotten a few questions on why I haven't been posting or if anything bad happened and this is just to say that nothing bad happened <laughs> I've been good so I haven't posted in so long and I'll get into why and all that later on throughout this video but I'd really appreciate it if you take just like a few minutes of your time to listen to this part of the video because to be honest it's the most important as everyone probably knows by now um there's been a happening in palestine and it's gotten to a point where innocent people have lost basically everything um they've lost their their loved ones their homes and they've even lost the access to like basic human needs like food and water and people are just dying because of it it's not all because of the happening so i wanted to share a few links i'm gonna put them on the description on ways you can help it doesn't have to be financial i know not a lot of people can do that you can do things as simple as sharing stuff online reading more about the topic from trusted websites or trusted news outlets or whatever because there's been a lot of misleading information that's been shared since all of this has started but regardless of that regardless of the politics behind it because i honestly have no idea about anything related to like the politics but what i do know is that so many people have lost their lives and are still losing their lives yeah just doing anything from talking about it to like posting tiktoks to certain audios you don't even have to share them you can post them privately and that way nobody can see it but you'd be helping support the creator who made filter or audio or whatever it is and they give the profit they make off of that to people who need it that's all i'm gonna say that's all i can say as i said i'm gonna put a few links in the description yeah it it feels so wrong to move like from talking about this to the video but i couldn't share this video without talking about it because at least not on this account i haven't talked about anything that's been happening because i haven't posted anything in so long if you stayed and listened to this part i really appreciate it and yeah that's that's it hi it's me i'm alive it's been 84 years i haven't posted in 242 day days 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 and 14 hours what is this video? I do not know. I'm on my way to university, that's why I'm out. I haven't been posting, not because like anything bad happened, like I'm good, everything's good. I remember in my last video, I was like, maybe I'll start, I'll, I'll go back to like posting again. And well, here we are 242 days later. When I started the fall semester, I was like, okay, I'll still have time to like make videos and stuff. I did not. I it, I haven't stopped studying since. By the way, today is April 26th. I don't know if this video is gonna go up or when this video is gonna go up. Okay, I have like a really long summer break and I desperately need a break, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do. And I was trying to find some things that are fun. So I was thinking about some of the things that I used to enjoy. And like, I really used to enjoy making videos and editing them and doing all that stuff. So I'm considering like starting to make videos again. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna go through with it, but I guess we'll see. So today is actually my last day of the spring semester. I'm gonna try to like vlog today because when summer break does start I'm not gonna be going out of my house <laughs> so like I feel like this is the only chance I have left to like vlog something although I'm probably gonna forget and if I don't forget it's gonna be too awkward for me to like do it in public I'm still gonna try but like I doubt that I'll do a good job I'm I'm gonna try to give an update throughout the video on like what's been going on with my life although 
nothing has happened. I heard footsteps. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm not making sense. I'll see you, talk to you, I don't know, in a bit or in like three years, who knows. I'm gonna go catch the bus right now and let's hope I do remember to vlog. Bye. <laughs> thousand years later hi so i'm back in my place as you can see there are trees growing into the place this is reason number two why i haven't been vlogging <laughs> um but i made a cup of tea and let's talk if you think this is the same day that i was recording that and think again it's not even the same week or the same month <laughs> today is may 17th so there are many reasons why i haven't vlogged i guess after that and i'll go into that in a bit but first i wanted to explain why i haven't posted in like three years there was an ant on my phone as i said first i did not have time uh second for that was so dramatic for no reason it's nothing serious um, i just wanted to breathe it's so freaking hot and i'm drinking tea for some reason i should have i wanted to make like an iced coffee but i don't know how to do it and my brother is not here to make it for me so tea it is um but yeah where was I? Should I go to a coffee shop and like make this like a cute vlog where I go and get stuff? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, now <laughs> a reason number two why I haven't posted is because I feel like when I was doing better and when I kept posting, my life and my eating disorder were kind of like, or like my at the time like my eating disorder recovery were very much the same and like yes it like it does obviously affect like everything in my life but i didn't want them to be like one thing it's not i keep doing this you get it okay i feel like they were so together so like if my life falls apart then this falls apart and if this falls apart then my life falls apart and i kind of needed to like separate them so that's what i've been trying to do it hasn't been working, I'm kidding, <laughs> but I'm still like working on it. Hopefully it'll get better soon. <laughs> I've been saying that since 2001. That's sad. Drinking the pain away. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that's the other main reason why I haven't been posting. And also because I feel like I used to share so much on here and like in the past it did help a lot and it made me feel less alone and i got like some messages of people saying that it helped them feel less alone and that makes me happy because i know how lonely it can feel because it's not talked about that much i don't regret ever like sharing my journey or my story or whatever but i do regret like <laughs> i do regret sharing too much it just got to a point where i was like okay these people know so much about me and i don't even know many of them so it felt weird and especially because like people i know watch my videos so brandy Okay, she doesn't want to come. She looked traumatized when I held her, but yeah. By the way, I've gotten like DMs asking me about my cats and I love that. I feel like I'm a proud mom. What was I saying? Okay, so like if I do keep posting, I feel like it, like still a big part of it is obviously going to be like my treatment and how things are, but I feel like it's not going to be so 
detailed. I need to keep checking if there are any bugs in my tea because like I'm sitting in a jungle. Um, but yeah, so I keep forgetting what I was talking about. But yeah, like the main reason of me posting this video is because like I have gotten a few questions on why I haven't been posting or if anything bad happened and this is just to say that nothing bad happened <laughs> I've been good and just to give like a general update honestly like I'm genuinely saying this I am doing like a lot better than before so here's the thing it's hard to like just give one answer because <laughs> they're like a big cluster combined so like some of these parts are good some aren't that good but overall it's good so like my mood and my anxiety i can't talk that much about it because like it comes and goes but like i feel like my mood has been better and like thoughts i think and the eating is going well obviously we're still working on like a few things so i'm currently like still seeing my psychiatrist no <laughs> i'm s okay I'll, I'll go i'll get back to that but yeah like i'm seeing my therapist um and i'm seeing uh seeing my doctor every now and then and things are good uh i'm not seeing my dietitian because we need to like work on a few things in therapy before we can work I don't know my therapist explained it to me I still don't get it but like I'm kidding I do get it but like I'm yeah it's just that we need to work on is there something on my no okay the reason why I screamed <laughs> after I said psychiatrist is because of... I'm being so dramatic right now but like uh, my therapist my psychiatrist Sorry, I'm seeing too many professionals, I've lost track. Um, but yeah, my psychiatrist. I've been seeing her for... I've honestly lost track. I think it was 2021. And I think she was still like an intern at the time. Yeah, she was like... She was with me in the ER. She kept following up with me like daily at the hospital. So like I got to trust her and... I talk to her like like she knows me better than I know myself um, but yeah she is traveling I'm gonna have to see someone else and today was my <laughs> there was a fly <laughs> today was my last appointment with her and honestly what the fuck was that honestly it went better than I expected I thought I was gonna like sob I thought I was gonna break down crying in her office but I did not and I'm proud of myself but <laughs> I did sob and cry when I first found out but not in her office but in the comfort and privacy of my own room <laughs> um, for my therapist uh, I think I'm not sure if when I posted like my last video I had just started seeing her it's been going well it took me so long to like open up to her not open up to her just like feel comfortable enough to like talk to her the fact that she's like specialized in eating disorders and yeah obviously that makes it it, it just makes the most sense we're working on things i've been feeling better but there are some things that we still need to work on that's just like a general update on how things have been with university i've been dying <laughs> mentally physically emotionally just everything so there's that um no but like it, this semester was probably the most stressful but the most rewarding i did work so hard to like get to the point where i'm at okay now i'm gonna explain why i started this video out saying it's gonna be a vlog and then i just didn't vlog and it turned into this video so here's what happened <laughs> when i made the first video the plan was to like film the last few weeks of university so after usually like after our last week of 
taking like normal courses and stuff and before our finals we have like a reading period so we get to study and do all the things so i was like okay i'm gonna vlog that i'm gonna vlog like how i prepare for some exams and stuff like that and then i'll film like the exams because i also had like my first oski i had two uh, oskis are basically like practical exams of the nursing courses that we're taking and here's what happened <laughs> okay so before i explain i'm gonna be talking about like some disgusting health problems i had <laughs> um so if that disgusts you then just click off this video unfollow me and block me off of the f everything during the first day of the reading period i woke up and i just felt like throwing up and i was like probably just anxiety like you know just like mm. but it wasn't yeah so i started like feeling like i'm gonna throw up and nothing was coming out and then i just i was in so much pain i have no idea what was happening and then i did throw up and then i went to sleep for like five hours so that took most of the day so i was like okay it's fine it's just the first day like you can catch up on everything you need to study for next day i wake up feeling better that did not last long that night i started having flu-like symptoms i was like it's fine it's probably just like the change of the weather i don't fucking know that's everyone's excuse for everything so i didn't think much of it but yeah it just kept getting worse i had a fever i was just completely out of it and that lasted for the whole week of the reading period so my exams they started on may 7th and then i had eight nine and then 14 i think so on the 6th so the day before uh my finals i had like pulled an all-nighter because i could not study much during the week because i was dying i was like okay i need to study like i, I was able to focus and everything so i was like okay i'm getting work done i'm just gonna do it i wasn't feeling tired so i was like that's good that morning my parents were coming back home and i felt like my eyes were very very dry and they were very itchy and i saw like a bit of redness and i sent a picture to my mom uh she was like it'll go away like just yeah it's fine and i was like yeah it's nothing like it's just a bit of redness and i had just pulled an all-nighter so that's probably it that was not it did you see how it just like exploded for no reason that was not it am i still gonna drink it yeah by the end of the night i could not see like it was very blurry my eyes were in so much pain it was disgusting i'm not gonna go into details but like things were coming out of my eyes and those things were not tears i was like okay i'll get a good night's sleep and then the next day like tomorrow like before my final i'll be feeling better i wake up the next day at like 4 a.m because i needed to study and review some stuff and my eyes would not open they were sealed shut so that was fun i went to the exam obviously i didn't want to like send the professor an email like the very last minute and i hadn't seen a doctor because i just thought like okay it'll go away just like the flu and the stomach bug and all that went to the exam the instructor who was also watching us during the exam she looked at me and she was like uh what's wrong and i was like do you really want to open that door I'm kidding, <laughs> I did not say that. I was like, I don't know, I probably have like an eye infection. She was like, can you see? I was like, nope. I could not read my exam. And I asked her to read me like a few questions, but then I felt too embarrassed. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like put random answers. And that's what I did. And um, it did not go well. I went to like the course coordinator's office. I'm like, hey, guess what? Uh, I couldn't see the exam. <laughs> She was very sweet, very understanding. She was like, don't come to tomorrow's like OSCE because you just can't do it. I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine! <laughs> totally fine! Then she was like, no, go talk to your instructor. And I did. But the instructor was like, then I'm gonna have to do another OSCE for you. And I was like, I don't want you to go through any trouble. I'll come. And I wish I didn't. But I did pass, surprisingly. I got a good grade, but ironically, the first station was 
an eye assessment station. And I was like, like, this is not gonna go well. So I started trying to like collect my thoughts. Your thoughts? Plural? And it was going well until I had to like see stuff. <laughs> so like when I had to like ask questions and stuff, it was fine, obviously. Like I didn't need my vision. <laughs> but uh, then it, I had to like assess the like the eye and like how it reacts and stuff like that. And I couldn't see and um, yeah. So I started crying and that didn't stop. It just kept going through every station. Um, so I cried my way through the OSCE and somehow passed. So uh, pro tip, do that. I'm kidding, don't. It's the worst thing ever. Why am I giving this disclaimer as if like somebody's actually gonna do it? Before going back home, I was like, this is it. I'm gonna go see a doctor. Like, uh, this is not gonna work out. I went to see like a general doctor and she basically was like, your eye shouldn't cause like that many symptoms. Like it's just red. I was like, uh, well, it hurts and I can't see and it's itchy and there are stuff coming out of it. And she was like, well, uh, I'm gonna refer you to an eye doctor. I'm like, please do. So <laughs> I go to an eye doctor and I did have a viral conjunctivitis. That's a fun word to say. Yeah, so basically my eye was infected. This is what my eyes looked like. I sent my professors the doctor's note. I was like, mm -hmm, I won't be able to make it to tomorrow's exam because I was exhausted. Like I was genuinely drained in every possible way. And then I felt better and I had a makeup exam and I got an A and I had another OSCE and I passed. And then my summer break started. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do in my summer break, but other than that, things are fine. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything. I hope you're all good, and I'll see you whenever I see you next. I cannot talk. My brain cannot form sentences anymore. I, I heard my mom's voice. She's at grandma's, so like, not sure. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> with a therapist, you really need to, really, what's wrong with my voice? <laughs>